Hey, and welcome back to our short page TS config session. So in the last video, we set up an editor user group. The video is what you can find here. And now we want to tweak a little bit of what's actually going on. So what we do is we move over to our dummy extension and I'll increase the size of it here. And if we go to our YouTube demo extension, open up the configuration folder, we can see there's a lot of page TS going on right here. And if we open up that folder, there's a file called all.txt. And if we open that, we can see that these are just plain includes that we're having, and it's going to load the RTE configuration, TCE form, TCE main, and backend layouts. And since this video is about TCE main, that's what we're going to take a look at. So if we open the TCE main file, we can see that there's just a small section with TCE main and curly braces right there. So not much to it. The question is, where can we actually find useful things to do? So if we switch back to our browser and open a new tab, which heads over to docs.typo3.org, and we'll increase the size a bit here too, we can see a menu item called references. And at the bottom of that list, there's a reference called tsconfig. So if we take a look at this, we can see that there's page TS config. There's also user TS config. We'll cover that in a different video later. So if we open this up, there's a lot of explanation going on, which you obviously don't want to read because you're viewing this video right now. But if we click down to the TCE form item, um, which is not the one we want to do, we want to do to TCE main, we can see that there's a couple of properties that we can actually use. So in our case, we had the issue that editor Ali was basically inheriting all her user groups and stuff down to all newly created pages. The issue is that if I, as an administrator, now also create a new page, editor Ali won't be able to see this. So just to illustrate the problem, if I go into the page module and create a new page, down here, which we'll call edit by Matis, and then go to system access, we can now see that this file just belongs to me, or this page rather, just belongs to me, and there's no group being set. That's an issue, because whenever I create a new page, Ellie won't be immediately able to see it, and you don't necessarily always want to go through the settings and supply access to the page over and over again. And this is where page TS config comes in rather handy. So if we go back to the documentation, we can find a setting called permissions, users and groups. And if we click this, we can see, aha, so in the TCE main, main area, we can set a permission for a specific user ID. That's the the account the page is going to belong to. And the same goes for the group ID. This is the group that's going to be the owner of that page. So what we do is we basically just copy over this stuff, go back in our TCE main file, and paste that in. So now we need to make sure that the user ID is actually the correct user ID. And in order to do that, we can just go back into our backend module, go to the list page and scroll down whilst on the root page to user groups and uh, to users and we can see that editor Ali actually has the UID 3. So if we go over, we can simply say, okay, so all new pages should belong to editor Ali and the user group ID of all new pages, we're going to apply the same trick, we hover over it and we can see this is the ID 2. We can now set this ID to 2 and save that. So what's happening now is that on the home page of our first site, we have loaded the um, page TS config in an earlier video. This is what happens when you set on the resources tab and include for YouTube demo. This means that all our configuration is being loaded and we can double check this if we go to the info module and select page TS config at the top menu item. And then later, because there's a lot of TS config going on, we just switch down to TCE main 
And if we scroll down here a bit, we can see that the permissions have been properly applied. So what happens now? If I again create a new page and just drop it here and we call it properly added by Matis and we select this in the access tab, we can now see that the newly create page belongs to Editor Alley, even though I'm not Editor Alley, and it has been set to the role Editor Canada. This is extremely helpful and will save you a lot of time, a lot of phone calls with your customers uh, who are asking, I don't see the pages. You log in with an administrator account, you actually see the pages. This can no longer happen if you use stuff like this. But there's more page, uh, page TS config in the TCE main section. So what else we can do is we can provide the correct actions that should be allowed for the user and the user group. And if you're wondering what the actions are, this is actually these checkboxes right here. So you can see that the owner is allowed to see the page, to edit content on that page, to edit the page itself, I'm allowed to delete the page, and I'm allowed to create new pages right here. And if we remove the page tree for a second, we can see that these settings apply to the owner, the group, and everybody. Pretty much like you would know it from all your Unix-based uh, operating systems. The interesting thing is, though, that we can kind of give everybody read access to these pages, and we can do this in a programmatically way, and this is what we're going to do next. So scrolling down here, there are the permissions for the user, the group, and everybody. And what we can do if we just copy paste this over, although this is type of three conf files in this case, so we need to adjust a little bit because that's actually PHP code. So we can do permissions and we'll just add curly braces right here, do it like this. And since this is TS config code, we can just give it its content like that. This is mainly just because curly braces are, uh, curly braces spaces are not necessary in this case. So we can just have it like this. But what we want to do is we want to actually give everybody the show permissions. We don't want everybody to delete the files or edit content on them, but just so you see the settings that you can actually set down here. This is a rather convenient way to do this for the more technically inclined people um, that are into bit masks, um, you can basically set all these settings by bit mask, meaning that a value of one equals show, edit equals two, delete equals four. So if we want to set these three things, we just set the value seven in order to have all these settings in one go. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a mathematical um, experience that you need to go through to understand it, but bit masks are really, really useful. On the other hand, we suggest to go for the more verbose text written way to actually set these things. So what's happening now is, again, when we create a new page, we go like, edit by Matis again, and then take a look at the access module. We can now see that this page actually has the show page permissions for everybody set. So this is how that works. There's a lot of more cool things to page TS config um, in the TCE main section. And this is basically just where you can go through the reference or maybe we'll do videos on each and every one of them. But you know, as time implies, we got to figure that one out later. So that's it for today and stay tuned. Next time we're going to come up with some stuff in TC forms, which is truly interesting. So see you next time.